Hey guys, this is Jason, and I wanted to deconstruct the new Mac Pro website from Apple. I think specifically because I have a lot of clients that will see this, and they're going to make some assumptions about um, kind of how this was done, and that it is somehow a responsive um, page that um, they're going to want to do projects like this. And um, I know I saw this, and I was like, this is a great example of what a responsive page is not. This is not a responsive page. In fact, Apple is using user agent sniffing inside of JavaScript to show a completely different experience on different devices. This page is vertically responsive, meaning that if you change the height of the page, the size of the central container will grow. However, if you change the horizontal width of it, it does not. In fact, you can shrink it all the way down and see that it is cut off. And this is necessary to actually accomplish this effect. And it's critical that clients understand that responsive is a tool in a toolbox. You don't want to try and do just a responsive site for everything. So I kind of wanted to go through how they built this and um, kind of what makes it up. So the first thing that you'll notice is that on initial load, you're seeing a single video. That's the intro video. In fact, you can see it inside of the DOM right here. This is intro container. Apple did this so that it's fast loading, so that as soon as you reload the page, the video that first loads is going to just immediately start playing. It's just a short little video that you know kind of flies in like this. So that was one video. Once the video is done playing, what you're actually seeing is a still image that has been superimposed over the video. So the vi video is still there, but the image has been brought in on top of it. Um, and that's done for a variety of reasons, but that's actually what's happening. So as you scroll, and you're not really scrolling, this is a single page JavaScript app. And so what you're looking at is one page. There is no scroll bar, uh, and there is no scroll. Now they are handling mouse wheel separately. So right now you're seeing another image. What did happen was the image that we were looking at was hidden. A video started to play. <laughs> Once the video was done, then another image was brought up. Now that video is one video. So we have the intro video and then we have the main video which is everything. And as you jump from section to section what's happening is you're playing a different part of that video. Now traditionally the problem that you have to solve with this is that as you jump from section to section that the video you don't want to have to play through all sections in order to go there and that's another really good use of these still images so you'll notice that as I click on, an, on a section that's not adjacent to the one that I'm on how it fades out it does not play a video from there to get you to where you are and that's because again it's one video and so that's kind of how they solve that problem and I thought it was a really good way to do it um, so in this you'll see that as I start scrolling that this text kind of moves up and the video starts to move a little bit but once I hit a certain threshold meaning that my mouse wheel has deviated a certain amount then it automatically continues the animation and you know moves you on to the next section uh, if you look at the source code of what's actually happening they're simply doing a uh, WebKit transform on the copy itself. Now the copy is maintained in a completely separate container. So you have the um, panel container which contains all of the copy. So you can see if I delete that how the copy itself will go away. Um, and then they have a video container which just contains the one video clip that they're playing different sections of. Uh, and so that's kind of how they're handling that. But if you look through the source code they're actually using JavaScript user agent sniffing to detect whether you're on a phone and then to handle that separately or even if you're on an iPhone e8 browser which isn't responsive at all and is just kind of one long you know page you're you're seeing completely different functionality and even markup uh, to accomplish this um, this kind of effect and so this is not a, a responsive page you can see that as I scale the window horizontally it gets cut off and as I scale it vertically it grows and that's how they keep everything kind of centered um, but this is user agent sniffing. This is not feature detection, which everyone hears, oh, you shouldn't do uh, user agent sniffing because you should be not responding to what the user's browser or device is. You need to be um, uh, implementing features uh, based on whether they can have certain features or not. But you can see here that that simply will not work. Um, 
a you cannot have a responsive uh, site that is horizontally um, responsive and somehow still have that work on uh, an iPhone because um, it, it just <coughs> they have different ways of managing that user interaction and so you really have to serve up a different experience on a phone uh, than you do on the desktop and uh, they realize this and it's necessary and yeah they're detecting that you're on an iPhone versus an Android phone versus uh, Internet Explorer browser and um, there are times to do that and this is one of them but this is kind of at a very high level kind of how they constructed this um, they did a really really good job with uh, with handling this the animations are great keep in mind that this is a video that you're seeing and so if you wanted to implement the same effect you're going to need to render a video um, so there you go. Uh, if you didn't want to use a video, just to follow up, you could use something like Scroller, where you're manipulating uh, DOM elements in their positions um, uh, based on you know the scroll position. But that's not what this technique is. So um, there you go. Hope that gives you some inspiration and uh, good job to the people at Apple. I'm very impressed by how you guys did this.